So this is the end goal, what we're trying to make today. Okay, so let's animate some falling snowflakes. So we can select these and delete them. Uh, and then we add a um, plane. We can drag it up a little bit like this. Uh, and we go here to particles and check the plus sign. And we add a particle system. And if we press space now, it already working from the beginning and we can change the end time to 100 and as you can see it's almost bubbling and this is because the plane is in the wrong direction so let's just press R and then rotate it around X 180 degrees like that great uh, and we don't want as many balls so we can just set this to 200 so we can scroll down to the physics and we can change the damping to maybe 0.6 and you can see it goes really slow and you can see the balls starting to disappear and this is because the lifetime uh, of the emitter of the object that's falling so we want to set this maybe to 200 so the balls will not die and I think it goes a little bit too slow so we can put it to 0.5 and you can see the balls all are kind of dead, so we want to add some motion to them. So we can set this brownian, we can drag it up, and if you drag it up to maybe 5, 6, you can see it a little bit wobbling, and uh, I think this will look good. But this doesn't look anything like uh, snowflakes right now, so we need to fix this. So we can uh, move this um, 3D cursor over here and we can press shift a and add an other plane we can rotate it up like this l y 90 and we can just press ctrl a and apply the rotation scale of this plane then we can select this emitter and we can scroll down to the render and instead of this halo balls we can choose object and then uh, the object that we want to emit is this plane and as you can see right now there are a lot of falling planes and as you can see they are a lot smaller so and this is because they are this is the scale of the original plane so we can size them up how we want to and i want to also add some scale randomness so I have some big planes and some small plane but as you can see they're all all falling in the same direction and we don't want they want some rotation so we can check the rotation and you can see we have different rotation right now and that's good but I also want them to be uh, rotated so they might fall flat so we can change this value as well and you can see we get a lot more randomized rotation of the plane uh, and I also want uh, snowflakes rotate dynamic so we can check this one and we can go down to angular velocity and we can make this number bigger and the bigger uh, and the bigger it is the faster the planes will rotate so maybe something like that great so now it's you can understand how it will be snowflakes but it looks nothing like it right now so we need to fix this and I don't want to see this plane, the middle plane, so we can scroll down to viewport display and we can uncheck show emitter and now it's only the snowflakes falling. Okay, so this flake is not really looking like a snowflake, so we need to change this so we can go to the shading and press new. Because I'm into this. And you can go to edit, preferences add-ons and you can search for node wrangler uh, and activate it uh, and now when you are in here you can press ctrl t and you will get the image texture uh, node and we want to use this because if we now open so we can start up with this one and right now it's just black and this is because i want to use the alpha channel and drag it to the alpha and this we can take away and I want a white snowflake and I want it to be a little more shiny so we can lower the roughness great and if you now look over here you can see 
is it's the snowflake falling and I think it's starting to look good but snowflakes come in many different types and shapes so I want other shapes as well so and to solve this we you select this one press shift D and we can drag it over here and press Y and then we can press shift D and drag it over here press Y so we only drag in this direction and if you start over here we can call this material for snow one and go to this one and we can press this duplicate material and call this snow two now i want to change the image so let's take the flake number two uh, and then we take this one and we duplicate it and call this one snow three great and we change the image to flake three and you can find this image in uh, the link below so you can try out for yourself and now we have three different snowflakes but in an in the animation you can see that we only still only have one type of snowflake and to solve this we need to select all of these and press m to make a new collection let's call them snowflakes great create and now we have a collection if you now select these and go up to uh, emitter we uh, scroll down to the render and instead of object we choose collection and now we can choose our snowflake collection and if you look over here you can now see if we pause the animation that we have different types of snowflakes so this is how you do if you want more snowflake you change that here if you want more rotation you change that here and if you want faster or slower falling uh, snowflakes you change this here good luck with creating your own animated snowflakes falling down okay thanks for watching and if you like stuff like this please like and subscribe thanks bye